Primary research is research that involves collecting new data directly from the source. It is original data gathered firsthand by the researcher, usually through methods like surveys, interviews, experiments, or observations. In contrast, secondary research involves analysing existing data that has already been collected and published by others, such as reports, academic papers, or statistics from government agencies. Let's take a look at primary research first. Primary research is used when new information is needed that cannot be found in existing sources. Researchers collect this data specifically to answer their research question or explore a topic in more depth. Primary research is ideal when studying a specific population, testing a new hypothesis, or gathering up-to-date data that reflects current trends. For example, a company may use primary research like customer surveys to understand consumer preferences before launching a new product. One of the biggest benefits of primary research is that it provides specific, up-to-date data that is directly relevant to the researcher's needs. Since the data is collected firsthand, it can be tailored to the specific goals of the research. Primary research also allows for more control over the data collection process, including the ability to choose the sample size and method, which increases the reliability of the findings. Furthermore, it provides original insights into new areas that have not yet been explored. Despite its advantages, primary research has limitations. It is often time-consuming and expensive, as researchers must design studies, collect data, and analyse the results from scratch. For instance, conducting large-scale surveys or experiments requires significant resources. In addition, primary research may be more difficult to conduct because it requires access to participants, which can sometimes be hard to arrange. There is also the risk of bias if the researcher influences the responses or if the sample is not representative. Now let's move on to an exploration of secondary research and why someone might want to use this type of research study instead. Secondary research involves reviewing and analysing data that has already been collected by other researchers, organisations or institutions. This method is commonly used when there is no need to collect new data and the research question can be answered by existing sources. Secondary research is useful when time or resources are limited or when a researcher needs to gain an initial understanding of a topic before diving into more detailed primary research. For example, a student writing a literature review for a school paper may rely on secondary research by examining published studies and reports. One of the main benefits of secondary research is that it is usually faster and less expensive than primary research. Since the data has already been collected and analysed, researchers can simply retrieve and study it, saving time and money. Secondary research is also valuable for understanding broad trends, as it allows access to large datasets that would be difficult or impossible to collect through primary methods. Additionally, it can provide a useful foundation or context for further primary research by highlighting what has already been studied. However, secondary research has limitations. The biggest drawback is that the data may not be fully relevant to the researcher's specific question. Since secondary data is collected by others for their own purposes, it might not perfectly align with the new research goals. Additionally, the data may be outdated or lack the detail required for in-depth analysis. Another limitation is that the researcher has no control over how the data was collected, which means there could be biases or errors in the original study that are difficult to detect or correct. Overall, both primary and secondary research are valuable methods of gathering information, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Primary research provides original, specific data, but is time-consuming and costly. Secondary research is faster and more affordable, but may lack relevance or precision. The choice between the two methods depends on the research goals, resources available, and the type of data needed.